Hi, Ryan. Jeff in Las Vegas. Good morning. Hey, Jeff. It's it's great to talk to you. It's great to talk to you too, man. Talking about your new book, Hey Bruce. Uh, man, what a it was just delightful. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Well, hey Bruce, did you approach your latest book from a different perspective? Because it ended up being interactive. I was doing a little research on your other books. So is this your first interactive book? This is my first interactive book. Yeah, I have close to 20 picture books out now. And this is the first time I've tried to do something um, quite like this. Um, it was a fun challenge. I wanted to try something different. Um, and the idea was I, I, I wanted to make the readers part of the collaborative process. So they're, they have to do stuff to the book to make the book move along. So um, like they have to you know press on a certain spot on Bruce's belly or shake the book up and down or rock it back and forth. So they're sort of, um, in a way, co-creators co with the book to give the kids like a little more ownership of, of the book itself. And it was, it was a lot of fun. It presented some challenges I wasn't expecting, like how many different ways can you have a child or a reader interact with a book? Like what can they do? Can, like, you know, as far as pressing or shaking or turning the book on its side, I wanted to make sure I had enough different um, different ways to interact with the book without getting too repetitive. So that was a fun challenge. I love how Bruce is described as an earth sign protagonist, you know. <laughs> uh, can you tell us about <laughs> the interaction between Bruce and the three mice, Rupert, Thistle, and Nibs? Yeah. So it, in this book in particular, um, the mice want to make an interactive book. And they don't know how to go about doing it. So they decide to rope Bruce in. Um, so they and they want Bruce to be the star of the book, but Bruce doesn't want to be in the book at all. He just wants to take a nap. And so the most of the book is just the mice trying to get Bruce to be in the book, and then also trying to get the reader to help Bruce take a nap. And of course, it it winds up being a bunch of mishaps one after another. And a lot of authors put themselves in their book. So which character is closest to you? Yeah, so the three mice are all a little bit me. Um, the one that's most me is Nibs, the mouse with the hat. He's sort of the most optimistic and wanting to please everybody. I'm also a little bit of Bruce, the grumpy old bear. And where did you find the inspiration for Bruce? Is it somewhere specific? Yeah, uh, Bruce himself is, is based loosely on my grandfather. And my grandfather was a lovable grump. So he seemed grumpy on the outside. But as you got to know him, you, you would learn that he... He actually was soft on the inside, but um, didn't show it very often. So that that's sort of where Bruce takes his cues from. You know, Ryan, I don't have kids, but I just fell in love with Bruce. You know, what makes Bruce so beloved by children and adults alike? What's the secret? Well, I think I think there's a lot to enjoy um, in a lovable grump. So I mean, I think I think kids like to see this, you know, kind of intimidating looking grumpy bear, but finding out he's He's, he's soft underneath all those layers of grumpiness. Um, and I, I think kids like that. For me personally, it's fun to work with a character that's grumpy because when you have mishaps happen to that character, the readers don't feel as bad for them. So when, you know, like if in this, Bruce has a piano dropped on him. Um, he gets out of the way. But instead of the readers feeling bad for him after all these bad things happen, they get to laugh along with the mice because Bruce started out the story as a grump. And a fan wanted me to ask you about Penelope Rex. Is there more coming soon or? Yeah, yeah. So I have, um, I have two, two books out in the Penelope Rex series. There's We Don't Eat Our Classmates and We Will Rock Our Classmates. And the next Penelope book um, is going to be coming out in, a, uh, I, I think, like next school year, um, the beginning of next school year. And it is called We Don't Lose Our Class Goldfish. And it's about Penelope taking home the class goldfish for a weekend. <laughs> that's, that's classic. And any other projects you can tell us that are coming up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm working on two new Bruce books right now. Um, one of them is a Halloween Bruce book. And it's a take on the classic um, Washington Irving's story, uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. So my book is called Bruce and the Legend of Soggy Hollow, which is the town Bruce lives in. And instead of there being a headless horseman, like in Sleepy Hollow, there's a horseless horseman who's just a ghost that goes around asking people for horses. 
Now that I can't wait to read because I'm a Halloween fanatic and I did see your Santa Claus one, your Santa Bruce. And I thought that was amazing. You know, so for a Halloween one, I mean, so I guess we have to wait a year, don't we, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, although um, books usually come out a couple months before the whatever holiday they're around. So I, I think the Halloween book comes out, it definitely comes out in the summertime, um, which is always interesting for tours to be touring for a book that comes out, you know, months later, but that's okay. And finally today, especially with your new book, Hey Bruce, uh, I wanted to ask about touring and also interaction with fans. Can fans interact with you online or see you at a book signing or? Yeah, so I mean, the best way for fans to interact with me is to check out my website, which is just my name. So it's ryantheehiggins.com. And on there, there's links to all my social media accounts and they can follow what I'm up to or just read more about me and my books. I am going on tour um, next week. My book comes out on Tuesday, uh, the 20th. And I'll be touring around the country for the better part of, well, actually for a whole week. So I'll be in New York and Atlanta area in Decatur and I'll be in Houston um, and then a little later than that I'll be in Chicago. Um, pretty soon we're, we're hoping to put a tour together for the next book to send me out in the, um, the southwest area. Well yeah consider so Las Vegas. Be going your way. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah Las Vegas would be a big stop. You didn't realize we have the fifth largest school district in the country so. I, I couldn't have told you which number size but I could have told you it was in the top 10. Yeah, because we had 2.2 million people here now, and we have a lot of kids, and I just think this is just the greatest book. I love discovering something like this because I'm a, a big man baby at heart. You know, I'm a big kid. So uh, <laughs> so congratulations, Ryan, and, and congratulations on your new book, and uh, let's talk again soon, and definitely for the Halloween book. That's going to be that's gonna be exciting. Thank you very much. Great talking with you. You too. Take care. Thank you. Mm -hmm.